This is Ryobi's new uh, eight and a quarter inch compact table saw. One of the one of the biggest I didn't have too much problem with it, but one of the things that gave me a little bit of trouble was mounting the mounting the blade guard on the riving knife. And if you look right here, you have two two grooves in the riving knife. And one of the issues was it kind of didn't explain too much, but you have to take this cover off. You have to take the blade cover off. You can see it's got two hooks. But you have to take the blade cover off. And down inside of the saw you have this lever right here that you have to loosen up. Just pull it up. And the raise. you have to raise the riving knife as high as it'll go. Otherwise you can't get the blade guard mounted on the riving knife. It, it's, it's too shallow and uh, it kind of didn't go into a lot of detail about that but but I figured it out pretty quick so I'm just trying to help somebody else out so they don't go through the same thing but once you get the riving knife raised in the fully raised position I'll put the cover back on and then it's got two blade guard has two bars in it. But you want to raise the blade guards as high as they'll go and they kind of click in. You can hear them click in on both sides. And then you just take the you take the blade guard and you set this back rear bar right right there. Sorry about the camera focused. But you set that down in there. One has one bar fits down into here and this pushes back and then the other bar goes right in here and you just kind of push it down in there. But the blade guard has a has a lever on it right here. You put that in the up position so it's unlocked. Then you set your put your blade guards all the way in a locked up position. Unlock this lever right here, and you just set, you set the blade guard down on that the back bar right there on that groove. Push down on the front so it slides down on that other bar, other groove. And then you just take the your lever and you just lock it into place. The blade guard is now set up. Be careful of these brake poles again; they're very very sharp set them down like that. They're on a spring. Then you can take these blade guards that are clipped in and drop them down. And the, uh, the blade guard is now set up.